What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, Cable Line Network here, chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be seeing which scout rifle is the best, the Bowling Gemini or the Talak. Now, base, I'm going to compare them so you can see now they are all fully maxed. I just, I just um, didn't click the one perk at the end. That's why it's not showing up on the Bowling Gemini, but you're looking at it right now. Now, the Gemini has to be on range and reload, but further on this video, you're going to see that's not really going to make a difference. Now, let's get into the perks of this, shall we? Now, one way or another, bonus armor for on non-precision kills stacks up to three. Bonus agility on precision kills stacks up to three. Now, that's amazing. Not to mention the overall feel of this weapon. Like, this weapon is just so stable, and with the range on it, too, it's just amazing. Now, now, it does kind of feel more like a heavy set weapon it really does maybe it's just because of the look or maybe it's just me now you get the bowling Gemini from completing all of the reef quest missions and then Petra gives it to you right after you defeat the last champion now what do I personally think about this I love this scout rifle it's amazing seriously the sheer stopping power of it is just beast I love it. PvP and PvE. Now, PvP, I reckon this. PvE, I also do too. Now, you don't even have to aim this sometimes. You can just blast people away just from the hip fire alone. This weapon has amazing hip fire on it. Like, it really does have amazing hip fire. If you actually checked out some of my older videos, you would have seen this. Now, I'm actually just going to keep this going for a little bit longer to show you guys how this weapon actually does against Tanix because the next weapon is going to show how it does against Tanix as well. So, I want to give an accurate portray portrayal look of these weapons now guys by the way i do live stream on twitch that's twitch.tv slash cable line network i'm going to be doing about three or four different series on them i'm going to be live streaming probably four or three or four hours a day yes people a day now basically i'm going to be live streaming sword quest i'm going to be live streaming fighting the sleeper simulator i'm going to be live streaming a lot of stuff guys so make sure to follow me once again it's switch.tv slash so cable line network okay now this weapon is actually laying in some decent damage on this guy like the target acquisition on this thing is amazing in all honesty a lot of times when i was firing at him i'll be honest i was getting a phone call and i was looking away and i didn't even notice like i was just slowly just wrecking this guy all right all right now we're moving over to the telock yes now this scout rifle you can get at gunsmith rank three it's a scout rifle after my own heart i love this scout rifle now i'm not gonna put my own personal opinions to say um which one i like best i'm gonna actually spit facts now overflow this weapon basically as long as you keep your super every one of those stats goes up seriously it goes up even more than the bowling gemini now seriously guys this weapon actually increases reload increases um switching increases everything this weapon is insane once your super is active and not like other perks to where it only lasts a few seconds this perk will continue to last until you just use your super now I'm actually going to just, you know, show it with the super on because I'm showing the best of these guns. So I have to show this gun at its best. It will not be fair if I show this gun at its worst. All right. Now, for one, you get this, like I said, rank three at the gunsmith. Yes, rank three at the gunsmith. You basically go there. You have to get so many kills with a scout rifle with the telemetry. Then you have to dismantle scout rifles. Now, what I did, I just dismantled my year one raid and such scout rifles and it gave it to me my friend was like oh no i don't think that'll work dismounted them at work it says you need a rare and legendary it does not say keep in mind it does not say that it has to be year two it, they're not going to say that okay now i'm basically going to show you guys look at this look at how stable this is look at that now guys in all honesty we're going to have to compare and contrast here now the bowling gemini um, perks basically allows it to stack armor and stack agility but this perk right here is going to be the reason why the Talak takes the kick for the better scout rifle now all you have to do is keep your super it goes further than the bowling Gemini a uh, Gemini Gemini the reload speed is faster the switching is faster everything is just so fast with this weapon the stability on it is crazy look at this look at the stability 
and you see I was actually further away from this guy than when I had the bowling Gemini in the last area and I was not hitting precision kills on this guy like that and just look at the rate of fire it almost looks like an auto rifle this rate of fire people that's why this Talek has to be the best scout rifle well the better scout rifle within this competition if you want me to do other competitions please put in the comments below basically the competition will detail gameplay it will detail the weapons being maxed out and it will detail full on research and comparing and contrasting the perks now for PvP, this will be an amazing weapon. And PvE, this weapon outbeats the Bowling Gemini in PvP and in PvE. The rate of fire, the stability, all you have to do is keep your super, which is easy. Now, you can say, well, the Bowling Gemini has its perks and it doesn't need the super. You could say that. But the fact is, once again, this is the only perk that can last the entire game. That and this is a perk to where it's not like you can possibly screw this up. All you have to do is just not use your super. And if you're a player like me, you usually save your supers for the bosses anyway. So this weapon will be perfect for players like me and like yourself. Thanks again for watching. This is Ben Cable Line Network here. Please put in the comments what weapon should I compare next? I am here to serve you guys. Thanks again for watching. Bye.